Hey guys, Tampa1 here. Today's video, we are doing a special type of challenge video where I have to hit an excellent throw on any shiny I see or else it's gotta be transferred. So we're gonna go ahead and see, and there was a carnivine that was literally just right here, but it's now gone. So that's a little bit painful, but the goal is to find ourselves a shiny and then hit an excellent throw for every shiny that I find or else it's going to the bin, which is a little bit scary to think about, like stuff like maybe that moves around a lot. I'm definitely gonna be using probably some Nana Berries today. Never really used those, but hey, we'll have to see. Maybe we just have to use it to make sure we don't fail any shinies today. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more unique challenges just like this one, and let me know you know, any other ideas you guys have. But we got ourselves a Nita Ran on the spawn number one of the daily that isn't Shiani. And I do have some big news about August that we might as well start with, which is Adventure Week. Adventure Week is coming along with a Team Rocket Takeover, which I'm super excited about for both of them. Adventure Week is one of my favorite events of the year. I love fossil Pokemon. I love dinosaurs, all that kind of stuff. So all of it happening in one week is amazing. But also, like I said, Team Rocket is finally taking over again. They've been snoozing for like a couple months. The last time we had a Team Rocket takeover was around March, and we finally have ourselves another takeover, which is absolutely amazing because I can't wait to hunt brand new Shiny Shadows as I've completed all the lines in this rotation, but time for the next one. I really want Shiny Shadow Cranidos as well because that could come, maybe, I don't know, we get a themed Shiny Shadow Mon for Fossil Week, aka Adventure Week. We'll have to see. But also got another a big fun announcement and it's not really but we went horseback riding this morning now i had my go plus running and it didn't get me a shiny but it did catch me about a hundred pokemon unfortunately no shiny no hundo but it is what it is it was pretty cool i'll show some pictures on the side of the screen as well so that was pretty cool it was the first time i've ever done anything like that so just thought i'd show you guys tell you guys what i was doing this morning we also officially when you're watching this video i'm quite literally moving into my apartment probably right as you're watching this video or at least driving up to orlando which is pretty amazing like i can't believe it's already here so hey thank you guys so much for your support making this more of a possibility and i really appreciate each and every one of you guys and also another big announcement we got ourselves a shadow raid weekend and Zerny's returning in the month of august i guess i should finish up you know the rest of the august news because i mentioned it so we have a pretty good month ahead of us but we got ourselves a tumpus that isn't shiny let's find some shinies and hit some excellent throws. Now we're at the mural cluster here, but we're gonna walk and check everything because we still got the daily incense running. So you never know when a Galarian bird's gonna pop up, but we do have the mural cluster. I'll show you guys real quick. You guys can see it right there. Boom, mural cluster here. But we got ourselves hopefully also a shiny here. Then we gotta hit an excellent throw on it. So wish me luck on that because my throws for some reason are up and down. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. You know, it is what it is. But we got ourselves a Tangela that isn't shiny. We also gotta make sure that we keep the shiny streak of 2024 alive another day. So I guess I really do have to hit one of these, but I'm giving myself a little bit of a pass. For stream, I have immunity. That's what I'm just saying, okay? I feel like it's fair just to make sure if I get a shiny on stream, I catch it. But for stream, I'll have immunity, but for all other purposes, I will not, okay? So if I find this shiny Pidgey right here, no, okay, your boy also didn't definitely not just trip a little bit there. We don't talk about that, but we got ourselves a, what is that, Wimpod or Mining on the Incense? I think it is a Mining on the Daily. Okay, my own Mining, check. Boom, no, not shot it. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna see more challenges just like this one, because I just, really, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't come up with this one, Reese did. Reese said, hey, you should definitely try this at some point just to prove that you're good at throws. But I think it's gonna prove the opposite. We got a tiny Wimpod that unfortunately isn't shiny. I do have a few of those. Would love to pick up another one, but we also got ourselves a nice little cluster that brings in a pick a peck on the daily. Oh wait, that's not the on the daily incense. Interesting, okay. Well also, I forgot to mention, I guess I didn't mention this in yesterday's video, Poplio Community Day coming on August 31st. Pretty excited for that one as well, as it's a really, really good shine. And the, Really good shiny when it evolves, but really, really good Pokemon in terms of usability. Also, Ducklet on the daily. Not shiny, but it's a really good Pokemon when it evolves, so I would love to take advantage of it. Maybe even get a Shundo. And now we got ourselves a quick Garchomp raid, and we thought, might as well take it down, because it can be shiny from a raid. And I would love to see a shiny Garchomp, right? Like this. Or not like that. Okay, 2735. Honestly, no clue if that's good. I'll let you guys know if it is. Okay, so I set the camera down, and I got good and bad news. We got a shiny Shuppet here, but we have to hit an excellent throw. And I suck at excellent throws on Shuppet, I can't even lie. So we're gonna try this, we're gonna do our best, and hopefully we don't fail this. Come on, please. We missed. I should've thrown a Pokeball just so I could hop out. We missed. We missed. Okay, well, yeah, that, that's not good. We got somebody honking back here. Okay, but let's check these IVs. Are you any good? It's got 15 attack, but that's absolutely 
heartbreaking. We missed the excellent throw on the shut bit. It's just kind of one that I kind of just left to use like a couple throws to get used to. And I completely butchered it, I'm not gonna lie. So what we're gonna do here so that I can keep a Shuppet on today and keep a Shiny on today, I'm gonna transfer a Shiny Shuppet from the past just to make sure that my Shiny Streak of 2024 stays alive because I did find a Shiny today and we got some uh, ambulance going on. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and transfer this, take the Shuppet with you, goodbye. <laughs> That's fate. And here goes another cluster, starting with the Heracross that is in Shiani. Now, just to reiterate again, the reason why I transferred a Shuppet from a different day was mainly because of the fact that I want to have a Shiny physically for each day of the year. Again, I'm keeping a Shiny streak of 2024, so it's just to be there. So, like, you know, if I tell somebody, hey, I caught a Shiny every single day, and they're like, hey, wait a second, on what's today's date, July 24th, you don't have a physical shiny there. That's why I kept it there. But we did transfer, as you guys saw, a shiny shuppet. So one bit the dust, you know, it's just unfortunately wasn't the one that I exactly caught today. But don't worry, every single shiny that I get from now on in the video will be the way that it's supposed to be. It's gonna be, hey, if you were the one that I missed the accident throw on, you're gone. You're out of here, bozo. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have called it bozo, but. Hey, we'll move on. Now we got ourselves another cluster and we have ourselves a Shadow Poliwag raid, which we're gonna make our way over to. It's like right there, so we got enough time. It's got like three minutes on it. So we gotta be kind of snappy, but it's all good. We got ourselves a nice little cluster here and we'll see if we got ourselves another shiny that we gotta hit an excellent throw on. Let me know if you guys again wanna see a challenge like this again. Maybe I'll try the same exact challenge on like a crazy day next week with, I mean, well, tomorrow starts the event, but the new Steel event has insane shiny boosted odds and a brand new shiny Togemaru, which would be a big risk to try it in that event. But if you guys wanna see it, let me know in the comments down below because I'll do it again if that's what you guys wanna see. We got a Paris that isn't shiny. We got ourselves a Meowth that isn't right. And we got ourselves a Fomantis and a few others. We'll quickly check them, then head over to that Poliwag raid and hopefully it'll be a shiny Shiny Shadow Poliwag that I can keep because I definitely don't want to transfer a Shiny Shadow. I can't lie. Talking again about Shiny Shadows, we got the Team Rocket event finally coming back and giving us new Shadow Pokemon and a new Shadow Legendary if I'm hoping at least then we get Rayquaza. That's the plan. Hopefully that happens. We'll have to see. Who knows? But we got ourselves a Nidoran and an Eevee that are both that shiny. Let me make my way over to that raid. I'll let you guys know. Uh, well, I'll see you guys when we do the raid. And now we got ourselves that Poliwag raid. And let's see if it's a Shadow Shiny that I will have to hit an excellent throw on. That'd be really risky. But at the end of the day, I would love to get a Shadow Shiny. Oh, we actually do. Oh no, this is good and bad news. Okay guys, we have to set down the camera because I am not failing a Shadow Shiny. We actually just got a Shiny Shadow Poliwag from that raid. I've been looking for another one of these. Oh, of course it shows up when I do a transfer challenge. Come on Poliwag, why are you doing this to me? Let me find a place to put you guys down. Okay, so we found a makeshift spot to put the camera down and I can't lie, I'm using my Master Ball. Official, uh, no, but I already gave it a Silver Pineapple, which is really risky because I should have given it a Nana Berry, but we're gonna hit this excellent throw. We're gonna circle lock it and just pray that we can hit this thing because this is a shiny shadow i don't want to transfer one of these i i'm not gonna lie like i'm low-key freaking out come on Tony, please i missed it 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 i missed the excellent throw the ivs are all right oh, what do i do i gotta convince you guys to not make me transfer this i gotta convince you guys uh Dang, I don't know what to do. I, I'm, let me think of something. Okay, so I made up a solution. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna transfer a shiny Mewtwo if you guys allow me in place of that shiny shadow because I really don't wanna transfer it. I can't lie, my throws are absolutely got a bajul today. I'll transfer two Mewtwo's if that's what you guys want. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Is that okay? I'll, I guess I'll comment on the video. I'll be like, uh, like this comment or respond to this comment yes or no please let me know in the comments down below i'm gonna run a poll on my instagram too probably or something like that maybe on youtube we'll run a poll on youtube too and you guys let me know can i replace a shiny shadow transfer with a shiny mewtwo i'll even make it a shiny lucky mewtwo i don't care i want to keep that polywag please and here we go with another cluster and let's see if we got ourselves a shiny chillinger now we got ourselves a couple regional spawns which i mean you love to see again florida is stacked with regionals and since i'm officially moving here here, well, literally tomorrow we move into the Orlando department. We got ourselves Florida Regionals permanently, which is, I mean, really exciting. At the beginning, obviously, it's going to be like need, 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 but I'm going to grab as many as I can and, of course, hold them for some friends. I know Corsola, Heracross, and, well, Heracross a little bit less because of the raid day, but Corsola and Carnivine are pretty sought after at the moment, so definitely going to be holding those for some friends and seeing if I can give them some of those, and we will get ourselves a shiny in this task right here. Boom, come on, 
No, it's slot golf though. We love a slot golf because I mean, pink slot golf is pretty good shiny, but we can hit an easy, great throw and potentially get another slot golf right here. Boom. Yep, it is another one. It's 417. You're looking for 429. Remember that from the Saw Dude Slack Health event. Where did my person just go? We just have to drift the Ronies right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is there at least any other spawns around there? That was a crazy drift. You guys saw that? That was like, I just, like, that was weird. Okay. Well, we'll quickly move on from that one and we'll go ahead and check this Nidoran and Mankey and then see if they're shiny and see if I can hit an excellent throw on one of them. No. And now we got ourselves another cluster, including a tyrant. And with this tyrant, we have the official news for Adventure Week. Now, unfortunately, this spawns in the wild. They've been nerfed a little bit, but we do have shiny boosted odds on Tyrant, Amora, Tortuga, Archon, and then something else. There's something else in there that's shiny boosted, I promise. But we do have ourselves certain wild spawns. I'll throw those up on screen, but we also have ourselves some really fun research tasks and eggs with a bunch of shiny boosted mods. So best of luck to all you guys. If you're hunting any of these, make sure to hatch some eggs, check some research tasks, because again, they are gonna be shiny boosted from both of those. They should be about one in 64. I'd say this event is kind of reminds me a lot of, by the way, make sure you're always catching your autonos for dust absolutely amazing but this event kind of reminds me of that drill burf sustainability week event where we had ourselves shiny boosted odds all throughout those eggs so that's kind of what this adventure week is looking like this year and you saw right there 2100 stardust make sure you're catching these things we're gonna go ahead and uh totally do that to Dene Raid. Now we're grinding in a local park and we got ourselves a Corsola on the incense that unfortunately isn't shiny. Now we did get one of those on the incense a few days ago. So obviously it'd be amazing to go ahead and pick that up. We got also, this is I believe a Centret nest. So we're gonna try to take advantage of that. Maybe find a shiny Centret, but we're already two shinies on the day. Now let's see if the local park gets us a shiny today because that would be absolutely amazing. I mean, there's a couple Centrets here. I mentioned this is a Centret nest and all three of them are shiny. Now there is a lake right here. Let's see if a Carvana is taking a dip in the lake. Well, specifically a shiny Carvana, but we'll check all the other spawns, see if one of them turns out to be shiny. And of course, we're always looking for shinies. We gotta hit excellent throws on them. And when I get home later, while we're packing the boxes in the car, getting ready for the move tomorrow, I will have Moon Guys Beam running. And if I do get a shiny, same challenge applies. So we got ourselves about 32 minutes until the stream and you know what? I'm going to try the challenge on stream. I'm going to let them know on stream a little bit early about the video and they'll have to see, uh, you know, what happens in the video. So let's go ahead and continue this challenge. Now, before our Tornadus Raid hour stream, we got ourselves a Tornadus Raid and let's see if we get lucky maybe pre-stream because, I mean, that'd be pretty cool, right? Just get a shiny Tornadus right about now. No, ooh, 1906 though. That is five off the hundo. This is a potential functional hundo because I know that because I have a shiny one that's 1906 and it's a functional shundo, but you know, it's not the most useful Pokemon, but hey, we'll go ahead and take it a functional hundo. I'll go ahead and show you guys the IVs once we catch this thing, if we catch this thing. And there is the catch. We got ourselves the Tornadus and look at these IVs, boom. Functional hundo, just like I said. Hey, we'll take it, we're gonna run with it. And we got ourselves a clamper on the incense that isn't shiny. We got a throw, which is honestly a really hard excellence. So if I did end up getting that shiny, I can't lie, that would've been a really difficult one to hit. And here we go with a Badoof. Haven't seen a shiny Badoof in a little bit, so wouldn't be opposed to going ahead and picking one of those up eventually. But we got ourselves a Wimpod that is in a red pod. And then we got ourselves a Oddish that isn't shiny. Also, come on, shiny. Bam! Oh, yes, Shunny! Tornadus, let's go. But we have one bad news. I told you guys about the challenge. We have to catch it with an excellent throw. And what is the problem with that? I am currently holding two phones. So one phone's getting set down, and we're hitting this excellent throw on this Tornadus. Please, I do not want to transfer a Shiny Legendary. I can, honestly, wait, I can't even lock it because I gave it a 9 -up. Okay, come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. No pressure. Yes, excellent throw. Yes, we don't have to transfer it. Let's go, let's get some W's in the chat. If you guys didn't know, I'm doing a challenge video where I have to hit an excellent on every single shiny that I get today or else it's getting transferred and we caught it and it's got 15 attack. We don't have to transfer this shiny, let's go. I'll be grinding X Games mode for that. Shiny, yes, shiny Mudkip. Well, this is my favorite starter Pokemon and we just picked it up. Shiny Mudkip. But you know what's really painful? Well, I just gave it a golden Raz. You know what's really painful? Is I have to hit the excellent throw on this. And my hands are a little bit sweaty because it's so hot in Florida. Gosh darn hands. Come on, come on. We have to transfer it if it's not an excellent throw. Gosh darn it, Tony. Pop out, pop out, pop out, please. No, okay. Well, we caught a shiny mud kit, which is amazing. But... It's gonna have to be transferred. And it's actually decent IVs. 
Well, I'm gonna name another Mudkip after somebody. And now we're here post stream with my fiance. We're gonna go ahead and do a trade. Now, she actually only has one shiny Mudkip, right? You said one shiny Mudkip. And unfortunately, we missed the excellent throw on this Mudkip. So instead of transferring it, I'm trading it for a non shiny for this Corsola, which I still need the Hundo. So I'd love this to go oh. lucky. And uh, oh, yeah. yeah, there you go. Confirm. Boom. Mm -hmm. All good. Well, Hopefully it goes lucky. Imagine you get a Shundo Mudkip right here. That would be absolutely crazy. I have given her one of her two Shundos. It was a Mewtwo, but not lucky. It's 808 CP. Any good? Yeah, mine's one star. Mm. Two star. It's, it's all right. It's better than better than nothing. She's happy to go ahead and pick it up, though. And uh, yeah, we had to trade that Mudkip because we missed the excellent throw. Pain. And now it's time to officially wrap up today's video. Now, unfortunately... We did really bad with the excellent throws. We found four shinies today, but three of them we missed the excellent throw on. We did hit the excellent throw on this Tornadus, and then we transferred a different Shuppet only because we wanted to make sure, because yesterday I only got two shinies. I wanted to make sure we had a secured shiny for today in 2024, but we already transferred one of this place, so this Shuppet will stay. But this Poliwag is the big question. Are we going to transfer a Mewtwo, or are we going to transfer this Shadow Poliwag? You guys let me know in the comments down below. Truthfully, I think it's an even exchange. I get to keep my shadow shiny because I only have 44 of them. I would love to keep it because this is one that I only have two of anyways. But if you guys don't mind, I'll transfer a shiny Mewtwo. And even if you want a Mewtwo and just a normal Poliwag with it, you guys let me know in the comments down below. But you guys let me know. And let me know if you guys want to see more challenges just like this. Honestly, had a lot of fun. It was anxiety inducing, but, you know, had a lot of fun just, you know, trying to hit those excellent throws. I know we didn't really do it but the next event has a lot of boosted shiny so maybe we go in and do it in the next event but again we popped off with a couple nice shinies today with you know not limited grind because we did grind for about like five five and a half hours today six hours but hey at the end of the day it is what it is we got ourselves some shinies but horseback riding it was a, it was an eventful day okay and tomorrow when you're watching this video i'm literally moving to orlando which is Pretty exciting. I know it's the brand new event as well, so best of luck to all you guys hunting that brand new shiny token tomorrow. Good luck. Maybe I'll be getting lucky enough to get it right away. Who knows? You'll have to check out tomorrow's video to see that. But make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate all you guys checking out today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon adventure. Oh, peace.